Full Earth. We got a bunch of match <laughs> coming up. <laughs> yeah, Goof is definitely going to be a tough hurdle for him to get over. Yeah. But Goof, but uh, Miani can definitely do it. He's he's talented. Yeah, I mean he's definitely shown in the past few weeks that he definitely has the ability to beat a lot of high-level players. And we're seeing it already getting that getting that thirty-four percent combo off the off the down there. Yep, but Goof trying to fight him off here, and she's gonna try and get the damage that she can get in right now. Oof, These double back backers. Back. Yeah, because that's really part of the trouble for Bowser Jr. in this matchup. Once Bowser Jr. gets into a disadvantage. It can be really difficult to be able to fight your way back into neutral just because of Sonic speed. Yeah. Oh, and a special platform always, almost helping uh, Goof to clear the kill. Yeah, that's always a scary feeling when you see that platform just carrying you both to the blast zone. Yeah. You really got to start mashing those buttons to get out of the grab. It even helps more because when Sonic does his back throw, he like, like rolls backwards a bit. Yep. So it helps even more. Oh, I'm not getting the burnout on that. Side B there, so Goof getting a punish here. Luckily, that back here is stale, so it's not going to kill. Yep. But still stale. Man, 139. You got to just nick the top of that Koopaling and not the cart, because you do get that renewed knockback if you do hit the cart. The thing that makes this matchup so hard is that Sonic's finesse goes through the Mecha Koopa. Yep. And then also, since Bowser Jr.'s grab is so bad, he can't just run up and grab the Sonic as he's trying to do his spin shield. So yeah, it's just such a risk going for grabs against Sonic. I mean, even if you have a good grab, because Sonic can just usually outspace you and outpace you because of that speed. So it's like, if Sonic sees you coming, he can just start running at you with Sonic speed and just beat it out. Yeah, it, uh, fighting Sonic's a, little, a lot easier if you're a fast character, but yep. Larry's not fast. And that backer, nope. it's in the hitbox by the Koopaling can secure that kill, 195. Yeah, I mean, at that point, it was only a matter of time before Yanni lost the stock there. But he can definitely get the stock really soon. Sonic's 100% and Bowser Jr. has a lot of powerful moves. Yep, Mecha Koopa going to catch Goof off guard there and gives Yanni a chance to try and get an edge guard, but Goof, easy way to find a back stage. I think Spin Dash beats out um, the cart too, the go kart as well. It's just also awesome, really bad for Bowser Jr. Yeah, it's. This is honestly a difficult matchup for Bowser Jr. Just because it's like everything that Bowser Jr. wants to do, Sonic does better. Exactly. It's like CS Death and Bayo. <laughs> All right, we're not talking about that. Or, or Jigglypuff oh, this, and Bayo. This spring almost, <laughs> <laughs> this spring almost skipped to um, Yanni there. Not yeah. going to be able to get the up throw confirmed. Back throw is not going to kill. But it will be close. And I mean, 157% on Goof right now. Oh, the tongue! Jeez. <laughs> Licked oh. his toes. He's out of here. Yeah, speaking of tongues right now to get that kill. <laughs> so Yanni definitely has a little bit of work to do to bring this back, but Bowser Jr. definitely does have some good low percent combos. The hard thing is just getting the confirm on Sonic. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to hit Sonic because he's so fast. And he's been that just beats out all of Bowser Jr.'s options to me. And with no real way to punish it. Ooh. Ooh, did double Whoa. hammer. <laughs> you don't see that often. Like a Koopa in hand, it's gonna be break. Yeah, I mean, Yanni's definitely starting to get some momentum here. Ooh, but that was some nice movement. He like Jeez. jumped, they canceled the spin dash, and then edge canceled and got the back air. That was, that was smooth. Yeah, and I mean, Yanni was definitely getting ready to move forward because you just saw him at such a low angle out of that back air. He yeah. just went completely horizontal. Yeah, that, that was, that, he was just not ready to take that back air. I don't think nobody saw that coming. Yeah, I mean, that just goes to show you how good Goof is with her movement. Definitely. Am I running to the final destination? I agree with the pick. I think both her both are at the same stages. Yeah. I mean, they both benefit from essentially the same thing, yeah. so. It doesn't surprise me that they end up coming to this stage. I, I, I think Sonic gets more use off platforms than Bowser Jr. does, so. Yeah, I can see that, especially with the ability to use the spring to get up there quickly or spring out of the situations. Whereas Bowser Jr., if he wants to try and use his upbeat to get out of the platform traps, he's going to be in an almost vulnerable state. Yeah. I mean, you just see all this pressure from Goof keeping Yanni at the edge as long as she can. And just slowly just death by a thousand cuts here. But it is even right now. Yanni is doing a good good job of keeping up until that shield grab. 
Yeah, I mean, even still, it's only like one hit difference. Yep. This is definitely a back and forth match between these two right now. Y Yanni definitely figured something out, too. But, ooh, ooh. Goof does that so often as well. It has such a good mix up, too, because even if it misses, it just gets you to, um, to the ground so quick that you can't really be punished for it. And it's lagless as well, so. Yep. Ooh. Good call sitting in shield in that time, recognizing that Yanni tried doing that last game. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah, it's really rare that you see the ledge bounce like that coming from the side beat. Yeah, and you can get Goose has been shielding all game, knowing that, knowing that, he can't, that Yanni can't touch him while he's shielding. While he's shielding. Yeah, that's really the challenge because, I mean, like you said earlier, Bowser Jr. doesn't really have a good grab, so it really limits what Yanni can do at these high percents. I think we can try to see some Yanni and try to do some, some Tomahawks, and he just did it there. Exactly that. Yep. But still, 115% on Goof, 163 on Yanni. It's only a matter of time yeah. before one of these stocks is gone. This next nice hit gets it, like that one. There it is. Great confirm from Goof there to seal off the stock. But, yeah, but Yanni can definitely take the kill right back. Yanni has a lot of kill power at his disposal. But this combo game coming out from Goof is exactly up 42%. Yeah, and with this rage to back it up, it's definitely not going to be too hard for Goof to start putting Yanni back in kill percent. Maybe even get an early kill off his rage, like all his rage he has. Great to get the shield. Best match. That's always scary when you're yeah. getting back up from the ledge against Bowser Jr. Just because of how huge that forward smash is. That's going to do it. Yanni definitely needed that because if he let Goof continue with that momentum, it was definitely going to be It'd be a uh, hard road. Yep. <laughs> oh, deep spin dash beats it out. It's so unfortunate. Yeah, and that's really going to make it difficult for Yanni to get things going, but almost got the confirm out of the down here, but Sonic Spring just comes out so fast. I believe it's like frame 5, frame 4, when they do. It I mean, feels like it when you're fighting against it. Trying to use that Mecha Goop, but a Force Goop to Mecha Goop off screen, screen, doing some work. Yeah, it's definitely one of those moves that you have to constantly be conscious of. That's some great DI by Yanni playing in this game. Yeah, he definitely needs that, but that's stale. It's not gonna kill. Oh, it does oh, kill. It did kill. I thought I thought it was gonna be stale. That's why I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, but Goof definitely did a good job of keeping up the pressure and just taking advantage whenever she won the neutral and just taking it.